Welcome back to the Crocker Science Center Laboratory Informational Video Series. Today we're taking a look at two of the most important pieces of safety equipment that are found in the laboratory, the eyewash station and the safety shower. Either or both of these has the potential to prevent serious harm or even save your life. The first day you attend lab, immediately identify the location of both the safety shower and eyewash station or stations in your laboratory area. In the Crocker Science Center, these two pieces of equipment are often located in the same place. Here, you can see what a typical eyewash and safety shower area looks like in Crocker. The eyewash portion of the station may look substantially different than in other laboratory settings you've been in. Our eyewash stations fold down out of the wall. There is no button to push for operation. Simply opening the eyewash panel immediately activates it and water will begin flowing. If you get anything in your eyes, immediately get to the eyewash station and flush for at least 15 minutes. You may need to hold open your eyes with your hands to ensure proper flushing. Don't worry about water getting on the floor. The most important thing is getting your eyes properly rinsed out. A safety shower is used any time you need to flush a chemical or substance off of yourself that cannot be easily rinsed off with a sink or eyewash station. To activate the safety shower, pull down the wall-mounted lever and water will begin flowing. Once under the shower, be sure to remove any contaminated clothing since that will simply trap chemicals and substances against your skin, which can substantially increase the level of damage inflicted. This is not the time to be modest. Fellow students can hold up lab coats to create a screen for privacy, but your focus has to be on getting the chemicals or substances off of you. Continue flushing this way for at least 15 minutes. If you have to use either the eyewash station or safety shower, you should immediately seek medical attention after the incident. If you are close to someone in the lab who needs to use the eyewash station or safety shower, you should help them reach that location and activate either the safety shower or eyewash station. Your help can be especially important if the person is in a state of panic or if they can't see. Always have a plan for what you will do if an emergency situation arises. Having a plan in the back of your mind helps you act more quickly and more efficiently should an actual emergency arise in the lab. And as always, remember to ask your TA or your instructor if you have any questions.